In anticipation of the Republican National Convention, Milwaukee officials and the Secret Service have unveiled a comprehensive security plan that includes allowing guns within blocks of the event and establishing designated protest zones. Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle emphasized the extensive preparations involving 15 public safety entities, including the Chicago Police Department. Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman praised the collaborative effort, highlighting the crucial support from Chicago. Starting July 11, temporary street closures will be implemented, with vehicle checkpoints and security perimeters activating on July 14. The security setup will feature two perimeters, an outer perimeter where vehicles will be screened and guns will be allowed, and an inner perimeter prohibiting all weapons and vehicles, accessible only to credentialed individuals. Wisconsin law permits carrying guns openly or concealed within the outer perimeter, though machine guns, short-barreled shotguns, and silencers remain banned. Businesses within the inner perimeter can stay open, but only for those with RNC credentials. Protest zones, equipped with speaking platforms and speaker systems, will be established near Zeidler Union Square and Haymarket Square Park. These zones will operate from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., allowing registered groups 30-minute slots to demonstrate. Despite over 100 organizations signing up, none have been denied yet, though applications closed June 30. The ACLU of Wisconsin plans to continue its federal lawsuit against the city criticizing the extensive restricted areas as unjustifiable. Milwaukee officials assure that mass arrests are a last resort and emphasize a commitment to managing protests peacefully. The security measures, including a contingency plan for potential mass arrests, aim to balance safety and free speech, but the ACLU remains critical of the extensive restricted zones.